My name is Zach and you're watching another Bite Size Build video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this mailbox that notifies me every time my mail is delivered. A few months back, I built this New England Covered Bridge mailbox. This was one of my favorite projects that I've done so far, but unfortunately, as I was traveling over Thanksgiving, I came back to find that the mailbox had been destroyed by some vandals. So in this video, I'm going to rebuild the mailbox with a couple of new additions. I brought all the pieces here in the garage to have a closer look to see which, if any, of these pieces I am going to be able to save. Looking at it right off the bat, um, the roof is okay and this one side is okay, but it looks like the front piece and this other side piece are pretty much all the way destroyed. Um, there are several things about this design that I wanted to change anyway, um, and so I think I might just go ahead and rebuild this whole thing from scratch. The biggest change that I'm going to make to this next iteration is that I'm going to add some electronics. I know that's a big shock, I'm an electrical engineer. I thought it would be really cool to put a little sensor in here that will send my phone a notification anytime the mail is delivered. I don't have any electrical outlets near the mailbox, so I'm going to have to make this thing solar powered. When I remake these pieces, I'm going to be using red cedar again. This time around, instead of just using straight butt joints, I think I'm going to mill out some slots so that I can kind of use some box joints to join these pieces together. So I think it's time to head back inside and jump on the computer for some design work. Once I finish up the design work, I'll head back out here and get the Inventables X car set up to do some milling. One of the things I usually skip over in these project videos is the design process. That's because it's a very long and tedious process that's full of lots of trial and error. One of the things that takes a long time is to get the tool paths generated to carve out on the CNC machine. Now that may have to do with the fact that I'm an engineer and I overthink everything and I want to design everything to perfection, so I'm trying to learn how to let go of some of that expectation that everything's going to be perfect and get it to a point where it's going to work. So I'm at that point now, I'm ready to head back out into the garage and get this ready for the CNC. All the pieces are done being cut on the CNC and now it's time to assemble them all together. But before I do that, I need to clean up the pieces using a chisel and some sandpaper. While this glue is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next part of this project, which is to integrate the electronics. 
I think it would be so cool to have this mailbox send me a notification to my phone every time the mail is delivered. So I'm gonna head into my office and start prototyping some electronics on a breadboard. Once I've got a prototype working, I'm going to design a printed circuit board to mount all the components to. So you've seen me use the X-Carve a lot cutting wood, but what you may not know is that it actually can mill out printed circuit board material. And in this project, I'm gonna use the X-Carve to mill out the circuit board for the mailbox notification system. If you're interested in learning more about the X-Carve, there'll be a link in the description where you can check that out. Right now I'm working on the electronics for the notification system that I'm gonna put inside the mailbox. Basically I have a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller that sends my phone a message through telegram every time the mail is delivered. I want to go a step further and have the message tell me how much mail was delivered by weight. So I've got a load cell here which is the same thing you'll find in a bathroom scale. I'm going to connect that to the microcontroller and weigh the mail that's delivered and have the message tell me how much mail was delivered. As I mentioned earlier, my mailbox doesn't have any power outlets near it, so I'm going to have to make this thing solar powered. So I got myself a couple of these little one watt solar panels that will charge a LiPo battery using a charge controller like this. The plan is to install this reed switch in the lid of the mailbox so that when it's opened up, it'll connect the battery to the microcontroller and power everything up. Once the microcontroller has connected to my Wi-Fi network, it will take the weight of the new mail that was added to the mailbox and send that in the message. As I was thinking about this design, I considered the scenario in which the mailbox lid closes before the Wi-Fi module has a chance to send the message and it would power off. So I added a little circuit in there that would actually keep the power on long enough to send the message and then it'll power itself off, saving the battery. I've got the prototype working now so that when I power on the microcontroller, I get a message saying that the mail has been delivered. The next step will be to design a printed circuit board that I can mail out on the X-Carve machine. Once I've done that, I can come back in here and assemble all these components. When you're gonna mill out a printed circuit board or PCB that's double-sided like the design I just completed, you're gonna to wanna to keep a couple things in mind. I took a piece of MDF and I milled out a six inch square to hold this PCB blank. This MDF jig will hold the blank still as I mill out all the copper traces. Like I said, this is gonna be a double-sided PCB, so I'm actually gonna do all of the operations on the back side and then flip the blank over and then continue milling out all the top side features. I had to set up the cam file really carefully so that when I flipped it over, everything would mirror over properly and everything would line up.
way this works is I've got a little microcontroller in here that connects to my Wi-Fi network. I also have a magnetic sensor that detects every time the lid is opened. When the mail carrier delivers the mail, they'll open the lid, insert the mail, and close the lid. At that point, I have a little load cell, which is the same thing found in like a bathroom scale, underneath the mailbox. It measures the weight and then inserts that into the message that eventually gets sent to my phone. I don't have a power outlet out here, so I actually had to make this whole thing solar powered. So I've got a couple of little solar panels here that power the whole thing. I wanna take a quick second and say thank you to the Bite Size supporting members. You guys are making a huge difference. If you wanna become a Bite Size supporting member, you can do that by clicking the join button right here on YouTube, or you can visit patreon.com forward slash bite size. Once you become a bite size supporting member, you'll get access to things like behind the scenes content, early release videos, and monthly hangouts. If you're new to bite size, you may not know that I make a lot of other cool project videos like this. If you want to check those out, I'll put a couple of them here. If you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing to bite size so that way you can keep up on all the cool projects that I'm working on. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. My name is Zach, and I look forward to seeing you next time.